हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ योर पेपर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीनियर एल्जेब्रा सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक लेट ए इज इक्वल टू सो वी हैव अ मेट्रिक्स ए and v be the vector space of all x belonging to r cube such that ax is equal to 0 <coughs> then dimension of v is so you have these four options in your hand right you need to find out the dimension so firstly what we need to do we need to define our vector space properly okay so after we uh, describe our vector space we can find out its dimension right so what is your v your vector space v consist of x belonging to r cube so let us say x is equal to i am writing x y and z right this is a element in r cube such that ax is equal to 0 now firstly it see what it means to say ax is equal to 0 so i am writing ax the condition ax is equal to 0 here so what will we have we will have 1 1 1 3 1 1 1 5 3, 1, 5, 3. and what is our x it's x y and z so we need this one right so if you will multiply these things so what you will get you will get x plus y plus z is equal to 0 3x minus y plus z is equal to 0 x plus 5y plus 3z is equal to 0 so you see i can write the same vector space like this way that it consists of x is equal to x y z belonging to r cube such that x plus y plus z will be 0 3x minus y plus z will be 0 x plus 5y plus 3z is equal to 0 okay so what i am doing currently is this thing that what is meaning what is the meaning of ax is equal to 0 so ax is equal to 0 means this thing so we say vector space v consists of all vectors from r cube which satisfy these three conditions so we generally call these three conditions as restrictions because this is what is restricting the elements from r cube to enter inside v are you getting my point so we have these three restrictions in particular right so if these three restrictions uh, is satisfied by an element then it it will enter v now what can happen here is that if someone satisfy let us say these two only these two restrictions then it may enter v when it will happen it will happen when the third one is the linear combination of these two so what i mean by that i will repeat myself what is happening here is that we have three conditions so it may happen that by satisfying only two or one condition we can get a element inside v that means some of the condition may not be required here so why is that because if 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 a equation is a linear combination of other two then we don't need that equation because it's a linearly dependent equation so let us say for example that this equation is dependent upon these two so why we we will write this okay there is no meaning of writing this are you getting my point or not so then only we will have two conditions okay so this is what i am trying to uh, tell you that uh, we have three restrictions it doesn't matter uh, it it uh, we have three rest restrictions so it may not be true that uh by um, uh, if elements does not satisfy us this one let us say this restriction that it then it will not enter are you getting my point or not so uh, let me continue and then i will try to explain in the end also this thing so finally what we have to do we have to check whether these three restrictions that we have are 
are linearly independent or not suppose they are linearly independent then every restriction which is here is important are you getting my point so we just need to check the first aim that we will have now is to check whether these three restrictions are linearly independent or not and using this we can find out the dimension so what is a dimension of v so what is v v is actually a subspace of r cube why because it is taking vector from v, uh, this r cube right so dimension of v a subspace okay so uh, i should write w here dimension of a subspace w is de is uh, defined like this dimension of vector space minus number of li restrictions so this is why i was focusing your mind to the li restriction thing because we have this result in our hand right now if you will find out how many restrictions are li here then we are done with this question okay so what for what for this what you have to do you have to construct the matrix this matrix a and you have to find out its rank so by just finding out its rank you can uh, solve this question right so i will apply these uh, operations r3 goes to r3 minus r1 r2 goes to r2 minus 3 r1 so what you will get then you will get 1 1 1 0 over here minus 4 and uh, minus 2 right now here you will get 0 4 and i think 2 so now just add r3 goes to r3 plus r2 then what will happen you will end up with this 1 1 1 0 minus 4 minus 2 0 0 0 so you got this 0 and here is 1 so finally what you have proved that rank of this matrix rank of this matrix a is actually 2 are you getting my point so we have proved that rank is 2 that means you can write uh, you can write these three equations in a way such that you will get only two li equations are you getting my point so one of the equation here is not needed so how many li restriction now you have you have only two li restrictions so dimension will be just one are you getting my point so that means b will be your correct answer okay c is incorrect d is incorrect and a is incorrect now i will uh, repeat everything whatever i have done so the first point that we have to finish here is is the dimension of v okay we have to find out the dimension so i am i was telling you that dimension of a vector space uh, of a subspace sorry dimension of a subspace is dependent upon the dimension of the vector space okay and what is the difference difference is of this number of li restrictions so once you find out your li restrictions you are done with this question so you have these three restrictions in your hand and you have to find out the uh, a number uh, out of this uh, who are li who are li restrictions so now i formed a matrix uh, with it and then using these operation we got a, a, a matrix with rank 2 that means only two of these restrictions are li so we are done now okay so thank you